Welcome back to Pathologic Classic HD. I've just spoken with Sticky here, who told me that there's been a sighting of the Shabnak around the abattoir. And the Shabnak might be the original carrier of the disease. If it indeed even exists, which I'm pretty doubtful about, but who knows, I've seen some pretty strange things. So the only information I have is that it's around the abattoir, and also it might be heading east to the rotting fields or the, the rotten fields or something like that. So I'm guessing if it's around here, it's probably either around the southern entrance here, or perhaps around the eastern side here. So I'm going to try to explore this whole place here. Let's head on over. Um, I haven't spent much time around here, so I'm not sure if I can just, like, skirt along the edge of the termitary and make my way to the abattoir, or if I have to go maybe through the infected region, perhaps to the tracks, and then go north? I'm not sure. I'm just going to head straight to the termitary for now, I guess, and then see if I can just skirt along the edge. Let's see if that works. Also, I think... Yeah, that's a food store up here. Okay, good. I really need to eat. Um, oh god, I'm also extremely exhausted. Um, I have a lemon, right? Yep, I've got another lemon. Alright, I'm going to take it. See if it'll last long enough for me to find the shab neck. Okay, please, for the love- Oh! Whoa, 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 I thought this place was food. Is there a different entrance? <laughs> okay, two entrances. One entrance has house ninjas, the other has a salesman. Oh, yes! Yes, smoked meat! Bread? And dried fish? I will take all of those. Oh, finally. There we go, my hunger is now at like 20, 20 or 25 percent. Oh, I feel a lot better. Uh, I guess I'll take the crackers too, sure. My health is just garbage right now though, look at- oh, Jesus Christ. Um... Fuck, I can't really take anything without it causing extreme sleepiness, my exhaustion's already high. I kind of need to find somebody with a bandage really soon, but um, I can last for a little bit longer. Emphasis on little. Oh, um, it looks like this place over here is also a food store. Maybe I'll buy some more food for tomorrow. Prices are probably only going to go up, so I might as well stock up now. Some peanuts I can use that to trade with. Uh, dried fish and fresh fish. Okay, so we've already established that fresh fish seems to be okay, but I'd still prefer to avoid it. So I'm just gonna grab the dried fish and just save that for later. Okay. Yeah, let's see if we can keep sk just skirting around the outskirts. And I also need to try to remember that this place and this place both sell food. Yeah, so this place sells food, that place sells food, that sells food, that sells food. Those are the only ones I know about off the top of my head. I think this place maybe sells food too? Mmm... No, that's a closed store, I think. Yeah, anyway. Oh wait, what am I doing? I was gonna scout around the... Uh, go around the termitary, but now I'm going to Aspidy's place. Should I just continue? Yeah, you know what? The plague rat's on me, so I should continue to Aspidy's place just so I can ditch the plague rat. Oh wow. 
Look at how tall the abattoir is. You can see it looming in the distance against the sky. Yeah, I've never been to it. Huh. Let's make a permasafe here. I'm scared of what I might find. And let's keep my gun out. So, reports of the Shabnak wandering around the abattoir. Oh, fuck. Jesus, that was close. I didn't think this was an infected region, is it? Marked as infected? It's not. Huh. Weird. Alright, stay on my toes. More of those strange roots. They appear to be coming out of the abattoir. the infected place. Alright. Let's go more this way and maybe follow the train tracks inside. How much time do we have? Um, five, so it's 3 p.m. 3.30 p.m.? Wow. I mean, it's not exactly late, but I don't have tons of time because I do need to sleep soon and I also need to be back here at the termitary by about 9 or 10 to stop the hunchback. Oh, Jesus. Um, do I want to go in there? It's really freaking dark. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this. Okay, it's an invisible wall. That's actually a relief. the rotten field. Is this the rotten field? Oh my god. It's getting awfully loud. So I still got quite a bit to go till I reach. It looks like here's another exit or entrance. Hmm. What's that? moving. Is that the creature? Holy shit, I think that's the creature. What? What am I... What am I looking at? Did I just die from the infection? What a time to die. Oh my god, if I just died from the infection, then there's like... Uh... There's like nothing I can do to live? My health is low. Did it go down one more tick and kill me? Oh my god, it did. Um... Right of the creature, and I, <sighs> I need to sleep. Shit. I could probably go back to Aspidy's place and sleep. Holy shit! I actually need to sleep. Um, oh, fuck. What if I just take S morphine? That maxes out my freaking exhaustion. My health is gonna go down super quick. No, 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 that's just... That's stupid. Hmm... Okay, this save is when I'm pretty close to Aspidy's place. I'm gonna go back to Aspidy's place, and I'm gonna sleep at her place for at least a couple hours. Oh my god, this is such a freaking cliffhanger. I was literally like 50 feet away from that strange creature. I want to know what it is. I'm so close. I'm so close. But we have to sleep. That's just cruel.
I need to take some serious stuff. I can't take Meridorm. It's just, it's way too freaking weak. I need to take some good stuff. And please tell me that she actually has a bed. I'm just assuming she does. Okay, she does. And even though she hates me, she doesn't mind if I use it. Okay, quick save. What drugs am I going to use? Mm, let's see, it's going to be Morphine or Novocaine. Uh, looks like Morphine is a lot stronger than Novocaine. 10 hours. 9 hours. Eh, pretty similar. Let's take the Novocaine and then sleep. How long do I want to sleep for? Let's try three hours, see what happens. Okay, my exhaustion is plenty fine. Let's see. Health is good enough. Of infection, not too bad. Exhaustion, pretty low. But what about the time? That's too late. I'm gonna sleep for two hours, not three. Maybe I should just sleep for one. I've got to be at the termitary 9 or 10 o'clock to stop the hunchback. Uh, am I really just going to sleep for like one hour? I mean, it takes my exhaustion down quite a bit, I guess. I guess that's fine. Good enough. Good enough for now. How's my immunity? Eh, it's really good. It's at like 90%. Okay. Alright, I've got enough health this time. You strange creature, I'm coming for you. I don't know what it is, but it did not look human. Okay, there it is again. Alright, what are you? Whoa, 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 what's that? Oh wait, maybe it did kill me. Does it hurt just to be near it? It does! Oh my god. I mean, I was actually about to die anyway before. But it delivered the killing blow. Just being near it kills me. Does that mean I have to shoot it? Uh. Oh. Got a hit in his weird tiny little head. Look at us. What is that thing? Oh, fuck me. And if I try to get near it, I'm just gonna die. Right. Yep. What? That that thing is... I, I want to see what its head tendril thing is, but it's freaking terrifying. It's like slightly hilariously weird, but mostly it's just creepy. So I've got to hit it right in the head. And its head is so tiny. And I've got how many shots? Like, three, apparently? Oh my god, come on. Oh my god. Wow, okay. I've got four shots. Oh, somebody told me that you shouldn't reload your revolver before you've used all your shots, because when you reload it, like, wastes the shots that you already had in there or something. I don't think that's true, but let's test it. I've got three in the chamber, and I have one in my inventory. So now that I just reloaded, I should have four shots. How close can I get? Yeah, so it doesn't waste the shots. 
Now I've got four shots in it because I reloaded. I don't know how I magically hit that thing in the head before. Let's try it from this angle. Oh my god, come on. What? <laughs> Is the accuracy of my pistol actually affected by the low condition that it's in? It really didn't seem like it. It seems like it's perfectly accurate, but maybe it's not. I don't know, maybe it's not a problem with the hitboxes in the game. Maybe it is just really inaccurate and it's not clear that the pistol is inaccurate. There we go. Oh, there we go! Two shots, that's really lucky. I'm gonna save to make sure I don't lose that. I don't know if I can ever repeat that. Uh, so what happened? Um, the albino is dead. Should I tell Sticky about it? The mind boggles. Is this really the man-eater, Shabnak Adir? The spawn of the steppe, crafted lovingly from bone and clay, by will and reason of an ancient... Cthon. Well, whatever it is, it kills me just to be near it, so I'd say it's probably good that I killed it. Jesus Christ. I really want to see the front of its face, but I can't. It's impossible. Huh, look at the very tip of its head. It looks like it's... It looks like a burlap sack or something. This thing is so creepy. Terrifying. Ugh. Okay. I guess I should go back and tell Sticky about it. Um, should I explore more around here? I'm running low on time. Well, what is this thing? Uh, it's like a... Oh, it's like a transport line from the railway station to the abattoir? Okay, I see. Yeah, I can't do anything with it. Okay. I'm probably gonna reload the quick save I just made, because I'm kind of running out of time for the day. It's, uh... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, it's 5 p.m.? Yeah, it's 5 p.m. And I'm gonna need to sleep soon, and I gotta be at the termitary at 9 or 10. So I think I'm gonna reload my save, but I am curious just what's back here. I wanna know what's at this little entrance here. Oh. Oh, lame, there's an invisible wall. So I've only got two shots left in my revolver. Oh my god, I need more. <sighs> this does not bring me any closer to finding Clara, though. That's the problem. I don't think this is going to do a damn thing for the main quest for the day. And if so, I'm pretty freaking screwed. I'm extremely tired, I need to sleep very soon, and I've got to be at the termitary by 9 or 10 to stop the hunchback. I need to do the main quest. I have to finish the main quest, otherwise a bunch of people are going to all be burned to death. Right, that's what Sabarov said. I need to finger the person responsible, otherwise they all die. I have to do it. I have to do it. I have to find the person. Something funny about the fights between the guards and the other people. Ah, oh, plague red on me. I can't stop till I get to Sticky's place. Or I could just pop in here. 
Yeah, let's just lose the plague right right here. a thief that way and another plague rat. Oh well. Throw a knife at me. I'll dodge it and then keep running. Or ignore me completely. That's fine too. Man, I really hope that Sticky gives me a something useful. 20 bandages? A million monies? something. I'm starting to run out of money. I'm not exactly low, but I've only got like 17,000 left or something. What am I at, actually? I'm down to 15,000. That's food enough for at least a couple days, but that doesn't make me feel comfortable. Every joker is one step away from being a goner. So, have you caught the carrier? I've killed that creature. What was it? A uh, golem or something? I don't know. I wish we could find out. Was there no way of capturing it alive? There was no way I was even going to try. It still gives me shivers. Is there actually a way to capture it alive? I mean, if you have enough health, I suppose you could probably actually get close to it. Would it have been possible to talk to it or something? I doubt it. Is that it? Just as I thought, it was nothing but a mirage. A farewell memento from this bizarre place that is, beyond a shadow of a doubt, merely a respite on my way to the netherworld. <laughs> Every time we think that we have accomplished what we sought, it turns out to be an illusion. Or am I the only one who suffers this? This bizarre place that is merely a respite on my way to the netherworld. It does seem that way, doesn't it? Like I'm dying. Well, that was a waste of time. A raider sect wants to burn our town. What are we going to do? Well, I'm apparently going to single-handedly kill the hunchback using my two rounds for my revolver. That's gonna be fun. It's alright, I can just stab the rest of them with my lockpicks. Do you know where Clara is? But that's exactly who I'm talking about. Except she turned out to not be Clara at all. Clara's a saint, and that Shabnak's just a twin of hers. So you didn't catch her. I think this is your turntail moment. You have to run. She's looking for you. What? She's looking for me. Okay, well I hope she finds me. I mean, well I guess I probably don't, but I kind of do. I need to find her before the end of the day. Why would I run from her? It's she who seems to be running from me. No, she's looking for you. She told that to Grace and Murky. I'll find him, she said, and there will be no mercy. That's the exact words. No mercy. She can kill you with a single stare. You look into her eyes, and an hour later you're sick, like bam. And there you go. Rubbish. Where can I find Clara? It's not a good idea, I'm telling you. <sighs> Alright. If you want to see her that bad, just wait a bit. And she'll find you herself. Uh, okay, just wait a bit. Where? Like, anywhere? My place of residence is an open secret. I'm not hiding from anyone. Wait, does that mean she's going to be waiting for me at home? Ava? Ava? At Ava's place? Is that what that means? Go back to Ava's place? Yeah, it's one of those times where I don't know whether I should take the game literally or more figuratively. I mean, literally speaking, Sticky is saying, if I simply wait anywhere, she'll find me. It doesn't matter where. But, I also know it's more likely that she's waiting somewhere for me. Rather than her just randomly appearing somewhere and just happening to chase me down in the middle of a field, it seems more likely she'll be at a place. 
And given that I mentioned that my place of residence is public knowledge, I'm not hiding from anyone, that makes me think maybe I need to go back to Ava's place, which is where I'm staying. And maybe she'll be waiting for me. It feels so shitty, though. It feels like such a shot in the dark to do that. Because there's nothing concrete specifically telling me to go to Ava's place. <sighs> I don't know. It sounds like there, there might be nothing I can do to accelerate the process. Maybe I do just have to wait. And maybe, maybe a letter will come or something. But what do I do in the meantime? I could prepare myself for the termitary by buying some rounds from, I suppose, Bad Grief or looking for kids to trade with. Um, I could sleep. I certainly need to sleep. You know what? Let's let's sleep and also test out the idea. Let's test out the idea right here. I'm gonna make a perma save. Let's just see if if I sleep long enough. Wait, can I not use your bed? Enough chin wagging. Okay. Let's find someone else's bed. Ooh, sir, sir, do you have a bandage? go to the Sabrov's place. I'm sure they've got a bed. I'm just gonna sleep for a long time and see if like a letter comes in or something. Or see if she just appears when I wake up. And if she doesn't, then I'll know that I do need to do something actively. Dead end. Anything new to say to Alexander? Neither the sun nor death can be looked at without winking. Who said that? I can say this even though I don't know what it means. Alright, uh, so the termitary thing is going down starting at 9 or 10, it is unclear exactly which. Let's assume it's 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock would be... I'm kind of bad at converting between 24 hour system and 12 hour, um... Well, if I sleep for two more hours, it'll be 8 p.m., right? 20. Yeah, if I sleep for two more hours, it'll be 8 p.m. So let's sleep for two more hours. See if a letter comes or something. No, no letter. Alright, in that case, I'm not gonna sleep. I absolutely freaking lutely need to find Clara or whatever to get a blood sample before the end of the day. Yes, you have a bandage, thank god. You know what? Screw it, I'm not running out of water bottles. I'll take a turn to get two. There we go. Up to about 45% health. You know what? Let's go speak with Clara again. The not Clara Clara, or the Clara Clara not not Clara. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Only in things of small value, they usually are bold enough not to trust to appearances. Where's the girl? Gone already. She darted straight after you as soon as the door closed behind your back. It didn't even take her a minute. 
I was positive she went with you. Oh my god. She is chasing me. She... These are not two separate people. Clara is Clara. Clara is the Changeling. The Changeling is Clara. They're the same people. But she was your responsibility. She was... Heavens knows what it was. This cannot be. The thought never occurred to me. She's made a fool of you. Great. That was not actually Clara. It was the Changeling or they're the same people. Regardless, you're not helping me as to where she is. No help. No help. Freaking useless. Didn't want me to take a blood sample because it'd be insulting. I think we have bigger issues than that, Katarina. Jesus Christ. So she's tracking me. So to make her come out of hiding, what do I have to do? Go to Ava's place? That's my best lead right now. Let's make a permasave. I'm going to make a lot of permasaves because this day is turning out to be a bit of a train wreck and I'm thinking I might have to go back in time at some point. Let's go to Ava's place. See if she's just waiting for me there. That or I just maybe, maybe I need to do the termitary thing and she'll show up then or something. This is one of those aimless moments in the game. Very aimless and uncomfortable. It's like I feel like the game expects me to do something and it was trying to communicate something to me, but I just don't understand. The one thing I don't need is more Meridorm. Got way too much of it. Might as well speak with Lara for a second. Clothes are worn into holes. You're clean. Now you know for sure that there's no reason for you to hide your eyes. So there's no carrier. Then I must have been right. No one is to blame. Well, no. Just you're not the carrier. Hmm. I don't like any of these options, though. I think I made a mistake, I just don't know where. I, on the other hand, think you've already won. You've done everything humanly possible. You'll return to the capital victorious. Look out of the window. Does it look like a victory? I made up my mind, Daniel. As soon as the Inquisitor arrives, I'll come before him and confess I was the carrier. He will believe me, since my words will be supported by Big Vlad, and the chorus of people who are prying who are prying my beads from the lips of the dead. Then I'll have to remain consistent, and that's all. What? She's going to sacrifice herself. Jesus, well If I can't find the person responsible, uh, Clara or the Changeling or whatever, if I can't find the carrier, it is better that Lara gives herself up, even if she's not the one who did it, than it is for nobody to come forwards. Because if nobody comes forwards, they're all going to burn. If she comes forwards, it's only her. I'd prefer it was nobody, though. But why? But I really am a carrier, Bachelor. That'll become the truth. There's something you don't know. Don't try to dissuade me. You've designed the plan that would become everyone's salvation, but it's missing the cornerstone. The carrier's head. Am I right? A 
The theory that the source equals the carrier has not been proven yet. It's merely a theory. An obvious one, but a theory still. You don't see the things for what they really are. Everything has a hidden meaning, a double agenda. You've solved the problem correctly, almost, but you're missing the main point. You failed to match two pictures together, and the second one of them paints me the criminal and the carrier. Just take it easy. What? I don't understand. I'm missing the main point. I failed to match the two pictures together. What two pictures? The second... The second picture paints me the criminal and the carrier. What's the first picture? What are you talking about? <laughs> Is there any point in forbidding it? I don't think she'd listen to me. Jesus Christ. It's looking less and less likely that I'll actually meet Clara today. Is Lara on my list of adherents? The list of the bound? I don't remember. If she is, then she can't die. <sighs> I'm curious if she'll actually listen to me if I forbid it. No, you will not go to the Inquisitor. I forbid it. You can't make me not go, so I will. The first person he discusses the situation with is going to be me, so believe me, I'll make sure he won't even let you to his quarters. Okay, God, what did I just do? And also, is she on my list of adherents? Or can she die? She's not on my list of adherents, so I guess she can die without it being detrimental, horribly detrimental to the story or whatever it is I'm protecting by protecting the bound. Clemency is... Uh, but yeah, what did that do to the quest? It just says, this isn't Lara. This isn't Lara. Like, literally? Literally the bachelor thinks this is not Lara? Or does he mean that kind of poetically, like, this isn't how Lara would behave? You're behaving strangely, Lara? This isn't like you? Yulia wanted to see Clara. I only came by to check on you. I've been thinking. Do you think this evil can be punished at all? If it has neither a source nor a carrier, how can it be stopped? It's dissolved in the things that can neither be cut nor burnt. This challenge is beyond human capabilities, isn't it? Tell me, does the Inquisitor arrive today? There is always a source, and today I will figure it out, whatever the cost. And you're obliged to suggest a complete and workable solution to the Inquisitor, aren't you? Well, not necessarily. But if I do, no one would dare lay a finger on my Fanatica. The powers that be gave me their word. And it's entirely possible that my victory award would be a discovery that'll prolong human life from 60 to 70 years to 100. Well, you're almost done, aren't you? You figured out how to crush it, haven't you? You've estimated and calculated the requirements, haven't you? I have. The only thing left for me is figuring out where it's creeping from, and then let the Inquisitor deal with the source. Let him organize the mass production of my vaccine. Let him establish order and do his best to avoid more deaths. As for me, I'll leave the place. But this evil has no source. I feel uneasy. I'm afraid you're about to be dealt a hard blow today.
there's always a source. There's always a source, although I think she's right. I think today is going to be shitty. Maybe there's, maybe there's no way for this day to end well. It would not surprise me if that's the case. If it's literally impossible for this day to actually end well. It wouldn't entirely surprise me. I'm getting more and more uneasy. Oh boy. But, she, it wasn't marked on my map to talk with her. And yet, I still had a really long conversation with her that had a bunch of important stuff and even updated the main quest log. So maybe I should talk with Yulia, too. Maybe I should talk with people that aren't actually, you know, the quest doesn't actually say to talk to them. Maybe I should just talk to freaking everybody. Let's go talk to Yulia. God damn it, I'm running out of time. I'm really running out of time. I've got two rounds of my revolver for the termitary. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I've got an awfully bad feeling about this day. I'm afraid I'm of little use now. Your blood is clean, Yulia. It looks like I was wrong. Something has just crossed my mind. I'd share it with you, if you think you'll be able to keep your calm. After all, we're both reasonable people. I don't like where this is going. Oh god, is she going to offer to sacrifice herself? Oh my god, she is... Fuck. Does the Inquisitor need a scapegoat to appease him? Let him have it, then. You must give me up to the Inquisitor, Daniel. This will not mean you have betrayed me insofar as I'm asking it for myself. But why? Where do I start? Suffice it to say, I am more guilty than you may suspect. Don't ask me to elaborate. Let the Inquisitor question me, and I will explain the situation in great detail. I don't think I'll be able to explain as much to you. What are you talking about? Don't be obtuse, Stankovsky. Not when the victory is this close. Go back to the capital. You have to finish what you've started. You must challenge death, even if you'll have to fight it on a different field. You must avenge us. I know it is all over for us here, one way or another. Let the dead bury their dead. If I tell both of these people, Yulia and Lara, just to not give themselves up, that I'm going to find the actual carrier, am I just screwing myself over? Is it actually impossible to find the true carrier and I have to have one of them sacrifice themselves? Hmm. Do you think I'd just give up? That I would be tempted by the opportunity of an easy victory? In this case, you don't know me very well. Not really. Truth be told, I knew in advance what your answer would be. Still, it seemed worthwhile to try. Forgive my regrettable lack of tact. Wow, I can say I'll report her to the Inquisitor. No. Come now. You're intoxicated by this wretched herb. Go sleep it off, Yulia. What did that do? Why? Why? That is... I don't like that. That makes me uneasy. Why does it say this isn't Lara? This isn't Yulia? What do, What do you mean? That's creeping me out. You mean literally or, or what? I, I don't like it. People die, skirt. Uh... This day is just... This isn't the most... 
This isn't the day that I've been the most stressed, but this is the day I've been the most creeped out. Oh, especially that description. That description of the Shabnak, the... The Changeling, the Not Clara. Was it from Grace? I think it was Grace, yeah, that said... She looked down and saw that... Her legs weren't there. She didn't have any legs. She just had bones sticking out. And I'm just imagining that. And it's... Oh, it's horrible. Ugh. And then that creature over by the abattoir. And then I... This day just feels wrong. Should I go speak with Big Vlad? Should I go to Ava? I need to get this quest marked as done before the end of the day. I'm hoping something happens really late in the day that's going to just finish the quest for me or something. But I don't know. I really don't know. How much time do I have? I've got like two or three hours before I need to be at the termitary. That's enough time to go around here and then head straight there. Ah, uh, shit. Shit. What do I do? What do I do? Speak to Big Vlad. Go to Ava's place. Speak to the Canes. I'm gonna go to Ava's place. Let's let's go to Ava's place. Let's do it. It's the only possible hint I've received as to where the Changeling might be waiting for me. <sighs> and I need to sleep really soon too. Really, really soon. Am I going to stop by the pub, by any chance? Andrew Stamaton's pub? Where, where's the pub? Oh, there it is. No, that's the studio. That's the pub. Eh. I suppose I can go there on the way to the termitary. If I want to stop there for some coffee. Perk me awake so I don't have to sleep. Fuck this day. Fuck this day. make more perma saves just in case. It's gonna be one of those days. Seven PM. Please tell me you have some rounds for my gun. No you don't. I don't I don't need any of that stuff. Chaos. People throwing firebombs at poor sick people. Oh, shit. Shit. She is here. Okay. Well, I don't see any bones sticking out of her legs. Hmm. Hi. You've changed. Or am I imagining things? Hmm. Did it say Changeling before, when I was speaking with her at Katarina's place? Did it say Changeling down here, or did it say Clara? I don't remember. Hi, Clara. I'm sick. The world is going dark. 
Okay, well saying hi apparently doesn't do anything, so I guess I have to say, if you so much as moved, you little tramp. Were you looking for me? May I touch your forehead? <laughs> no. You may not. No, stand still. Here's how it goes from here. I'll be asking and you'll be answering. Alright, ask away. But I know what it's about already. You've been told that it was I that had caused the deaths in the temple, right? But that's not true. Take my word on this, will you? <laughs> no, I won't. The only way to make me believe something is to provide tangible evidence. Give me your hand. Yes, of course. Right or left. I don't care. And stand still. What the hell? Oh, it didn't fit in my inventory, did it? Shit, it didn't. Um... Alright, drop those. Drop those. Pick up that. Okay, got a microscope upstairs. My hands are tired and my palms are tingling. She better still be there when I get back. <sighs> Clara's blood. Here we go. <laughs> I'm kind of scared to do it. Mm. Three. Two, one. It's clean. It's clean. It looks the same as all the others. Shit. I don't know if that's good or bad. My hands are tired and my palms are tingling. My patrons have abandoned me. I'm expelled from their very house. They'll pay for it. Oh. They'll pay for it. Is she going to do something against the Sabarovs because they cast her out? Well, anyway. I've taken a look at your blood. It is the strangest blood I've ever seen, but it doesn't contain the thing I was looking for. Could I have lost this battle? I've molded over, and here's what I think. Hand me over to the Inquisitor. I'll have to talk to him anyway. You have every right to do that, don't you? And most importantly, you won't be making a mistake. <sighs> what happens to the story if I choose to give the Inquisitor the Changeling versus Lara versus Yulia? I just give some random person to the Inquisitor as like a lamb for the slaughter. Fuck, lamb for the torture. I'm handing them over to an Inquisitor after all, right? Why? I molded over and, well, people must be right. The key to this mystery, the mystery of the disease, must have something to do with me. Even if I'm not the cause, I'll help the Inquisitor get to the bottom of all this. He'll find a way to extract the truth from me. What? She's... <laughs> what? She's saying even though I haven't done anything wrong that I know of, I must still be responsible somehow. Let's see if torture can get the truth out of me even though I don't know the truth myself. What? Are you crazy? Why are these people, why are these women so convinced of their guilt? Every single one of them has told me that even if they are not the carrier, that they've done something. They've done something that makes them responsible in some way. Why? Why are they so convinced that they're evil or something? On a rack? No. Not going to happen. Well, I never... 
Are Inquisitors allowed to torture people? Yes. You didn't know that. You must have been born yesterday after all. Whatever I do, I can't avoid meeting him. So why don't we just fix it so that it will be you turning me in? That'd be a great victory for you, wouldn't it? Why are you frowning? Um... And what would be the value of such victory? The real foe has not been identified yet. Or do you expect me to behave like they do? To engage in wishful thinking? Lie to everyone and to myself? Like those who are in charge of our fate and who I despise so much? No. I refuse. Ah. Oh, that actually finished the quest. That actually finished the quest, okay. Something is wrong here. True, Clara's blood is indeed unusual but it is also clear of any infection. There is no plague carrier. The primary assumption proved incorrect. The cornerstone of my theory has crumbled. I failed to discover the source of the infection, and I was unable to finalize the treatment methodology. What am I going to say to the Inquisitor tomorrow? Jesus. I don't know. Look at how long this quest has been today. Look at all this. But I, I completed it, so I think my adherents are going to be okay. I think I'm finally done. Wow, so I've completed the main quest, I've completed the thing from the step. The only thing left to do is take care of the termitary problem around 9 or 10 o'clock. And right now it is almost 8, it's 7.30. Uh, let's speak with Ava. My bedroom is warmer than this place. Nothing new to say. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to pick that up, but I don't want to drop any of the bloods, because I might need them when I'm talking to the Inquisitor or something. I don't want to risk not having the blood on me if I end up really needing it. So I'm just going to leave so that there. Cold. It's relatively low value. Whew. Well, I can <laughs> I can finally breathe a little bit. The hint that I got from Sticky about uh, about the changeling perhaps waiting for me. Well, actually, the hint didn't come from Sticky. It actually came from the bachelor himself. The bachelor himself hinted that his place of residence was not a secret, which is what gave me the hint that perhaps the changeling would be waiting for me there. And thank God that proved out to be true. Because if I had missed that hint, and I didn't think to look at Ava's place, this day would be just... fucked. So I feel like I've survived the hardest part of this day by the skin of my teeth. And I can finally take a breath. <sighs> I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be okay. Alright. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I am going to... Probably... I'm probably going to go to Bad Grief's Lair. So that I can buy some ammunition for my revolver. And then head over to the Termitary and see if I can stop the Hunchback.